Good morning, everyone. I'm Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Victoria Marshall with a look at your weather for Friday. April 17th, 2015. Weather headlines looking like this. Some morning fog, peaks of sun into the afternoon, so you will see some sun coming through those clouds. The potential for storms, it is there in the afternoon and overnight. Friday, Saturday time frame is the best chances for that for severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has us at a light to moderate risk for some severe storms. The biggest threat coming primarily from a Laredo to Houston to around Austin and San Antonio area for the day to day and tomorrow we also have our best chance for those strong to potentially severe storms. Partly cloudy skies. Otherwise, we are going to see those temperatures getting up into the mid 80s this week weekend and here's a look at storm tracker for at this hour not much going on at around 8 30 with the exception of a few clouds we have had plenty of fog though on local roadways this morning that's reduced visibilities to three to five that's going to lift by 9 a.m that's going to give way to temperatures in the mid 80s in cameron and willisey counties right around 87 in hidalgo county star county will see a high around 89 degrees some clouds You'll see sun peeking through. We have a lot of moisture in place, so it will be very humid, but you'll notice an upper level low pressure system dips and drops into the area. It's kind of a one two punch because we also have a southern jet stream, the southern edge of the jet stream that's helping to bring in a lot of moisture overhead, and that's also creating lift. So the combination of these two factors, all the moisture in place is creating very favorable conditions for stormy weather, not just stormy, but potentially severe weather with the potential for a quarter sized hail, 60 to 70 mile per hour winds, lots of lightning and flash flooding in some of these isolated pockets of thunderstorms. And you see here these really starting to wind up as we head into the evening hours today, somewhere between six and about midnight is when we'll see that first round then the second round between around midnight and that 6 a.m. time frame. After that, it's it's going to be another line that will possibly be taking shape to the north of us as we head into the late evening hours. So for the next few days here again, Friday 86, Saturday, the main threats will come in the form of flash flooding, wind, maybe some hail, and again, that lightning. That's something you'll really want to watch out for. 87 degrees on your Sunday, 85 by Monday. That chance for thunderstorms remains in the forecast through midweek.